the language, the language of English. You know, we come over from China, we speak. Ah, you're good, ah, you're good. 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 You When you're dating, bring home the bread means bring home the money. And as I got older, I learned no money, no honey, and lots of money, lots of honey, baby. <laughs> so learning the language is tough. You know, my mom. You know, we came in as naturalized. You know, people. Well, we came in as a, on a visa and had the opportunity to be naturalized. And to get naturalized and become an official U.S. citizen. You would have to、um, pass an exam, and so my mom would ask Willie, after school, can you help me work on the English language? I said, Yeah, mom, sure, mom. So she had this old、uh, recorder, you know, the, I think a reel-to-reel recorder, you know, back in those days, and she'd stop and rewind and stop, it, and she says,、uh, For a child, give me a match,、uh, match. Oh, when I light up your your dad's cigarette in the morning. Yeah, ma, match. Can you say that, ma? Match. Yes, match. Match. Okay, very good. And then I said, Mom,、uh, what month is it? It's March. Oh, Mom, it's March. And Mom, this weekend in Chinatown, San Francisco, they're having a parade. What do they call what you do during the parade? Ah,、uh, it's you just match. Oh, Mama, no, it's March.、Uh, Maya, it's match, match, match. This this cigarette is match. The month is match. The parade is match. Mom, match, 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 match. Now you're fifty years too early. Fifty years down the road, there's going to be match.com, and you can match all you want. Okay. So <laughs> the language was tough, and then there was, you know, Chinese have a problem with the、uh, vowels. You know, like the R and the L. We get the cons. Confused with L's with R's, you know. Like my mom, I said, "Mom, in the morning,、uh, the rooster starts crowing and waking everybody." Oh, go, 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 go! What is that, mom? It's the rooster, mom. It's rooster. Yeah, that's what I said, Willie. It's rooster. No, it's rooster. So Chinese New Yorkers have difficulty with the R's and the L's. And so then, when I got older, like thirteen, my uncle Harry comes up and says. Uh, well, yeah, you think, yeah, you think, yeah. What you do? You know, erection. Now, you think, you know, erection is what? Really? Oh, oh, sure. God, that's embarrassing. Look, my, 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 Uncle, please get it correct, man. It's embarrassing what you're saying. So having difficulty with the language was tough.、Uh, so the, the, and the coming over, not only that is the, you know, the customs and the mannerism of the new country. You know, I had my、uh, cousin Jimmy. He was older. He's a high school kid. He came. He was from the village. He was ghetto. He slept on the floor, dirt floor in China. He was poor. And when he came over here, and I said, he was still poor. And during his、uh, senior year in high school, the teacher said in class, "He says, you know, you got to learn some important words,、uh, you know, in this world, like grand." Uh, grand? Not I meant yeah. What is grand, teacher? A、uh, grand, Jimmy, is a thousand dollars. Oh, okay. So he was still poor in the United States. So he was stealing stuff. He was stealing all kinds of stuff, and he wasn't thinking about stealing a car and and his.、Uh, A、buddy in high school said, Robert said, "Hey Jimmy, hey, you better not steal that. Why? 'Cause it's it's going to be grand theft and you get thrown in jail. Thrown in jail? Not me, baby. I don't steal nothing more than a thousand dollars. That's crazy, man. Anyways,、uh, so that was tough. You know, learning the language, and、uh, and not only that, the food. I got accustomed to the food on the boat." Coming over here, you know, four years old, we're on the boat, almost four weeks, and and、uh, got introduced to American food. And the cook came out to the little boy, little boy, try this. 
Uh, but yeah, but yeah. Eat is good. And what it was, was this long Chinese bread, but not quite, it had a split in the middle, it had a Chinese sausage. Boy, when, well, it was thicker than a Chinese sausage about this long, and uh, the cook staff squirted some red sauce on it, and he said, boy, eat, eat. Uh, but yeah, eat, eat. Boy, eat, it's good, eat. Mm, mm, good, I host it, I host it. And then I read to mama, 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 mama. I go, oh, Jimmy Mango, I will love you, United States. Uh, why, Willie? Oh, oh well, the food's really good, mom. Uh, what did you eat? I, I, I eat this thing called hot dog. Uh, what, what, you know, the hot dog, I, what, hot, hot dog, I, what, what is, hot, yeah, like a, hot dog means it's a dog that's hot, and you know, the dog that's hot. Oh, God, Willie, we left China because they're eating dogs. And when now we come to the United States and we eat dogs. Dogs over there, dogs over here. Oh my God, what a crazy United States. So that was it. And uh, yeah, it's getting adopted. And uh, there was a guy here in the United States that I learned to love, you know. I, I, uh, my uncle used to love this singer called Elvis Presley. And he had a 45, he kept playing hound dog, you know. You know what a home dog, shaking out time. I love his voice, I love how he moved. And here's a famous song by Elvis Presley I'm going to share with you. It's called Can't Help Fall in Love. Wise men say only fools run. signature song. Here's another song that once sung by Elvis. This song uh, is called I'll Remember You. It's written by a Chinese uh, music writer, Mr. Kui Lee of Hawaii. 
It was once uh, sung by Don Ho, who is considered like the, the Hawaiian Elvis. And I'll remember you. I hope to, to bring back memories of Hawaii. It's a beautiful song. And Bruno Mars sings this song at the end of a lot of his concerts, I'll Remember You. Take you to Waikiki to the warm sands of Waikiki. Hey, brother. I'll remember Long after this endless summer is gone, I'll be lonely, ooh, so lonely, living lonely. I'll remember you. Yeah, baby. I'll remember you Your voice as soft as a warm summer breeze Oh, your sweet laughter and ever after Mornings after I'll remember you your arms someday I'll return to stay till then I'll remember you every bright stars we have made to shine Love me always Oh honey And promise always Ooh You remember too Yeah baby I remember you I hope you remember me Remember the good times we had in Shanghai We are walking along the, the boardwalk Along Potong, Potong, Shanghai, China, and the river, and you see all the boats slowly cruising by, and the city lights, and, and the stars, and you looked in my eyes, so romantic, and you said, Willie Wu, I love you. And Penny, my heart was like an ice cube, and it melted, melted into water, yes. Mucho, mucho, mucho agua, yeah, baby. To your arms someday, I'll return to stay till I'll remember too Every bright stars We have made To shine Oh, love me always And promise always Ooh you remember too I'll remember you. I don't have Alzheimer's. I'll remember you, honey. Yeah, take that next plane, United Airlines. Fly over here to Las Vegas, okay? I'll pick you up, have your visa waiting for you, and we'll take Uber, and we'll go to Chinatown, Las Vegas, and have lobster Cantonese. And there at the table will be some dozen of red roses for you, honey. I love you. Come on over. We're welcome here, and we'll visit this town, Lost Wages. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of Starbucks and customers of Starbucks, thank you for joining WoollyWoo.com in the episode number two, WoollyWoo.com at Starbucks. Uh, check this out, it's gonna be on YouTube. You can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and, and uh, <coughs> Instagram. And the advantage of following WoollyWoo, you don't need, you don't need GPS, baby. Thank you very much. Take care, love you. Start spreading the news, I'm coming today, I'm gonna be a part of it, Starbucks Parade, here in Las Vegas, like it, thank you very much.
God bless you all. Take care.